run an Airbnb here and we had a guest from Japan who stayed with us and very nice gentleman, can't remember his name, but I got into a great conversation with him and the topic came up that I had had some stuff that I had inherited from my father who fought in World War II and he asked me to show it to him and I did and he is the one that explained that all of the writing around that center red dot in the flag was uh, mementos and signatures of loved ones. I'm gonna change venues here. He was, uh, I mean, I would have to say, I don't know what was in that man's heart about this. glad you bring that up because that is that, that was another topic I wanted to bring up with you because that, that is another really uncomfortable part of this is thinking well how did he get this I mean uh, you know wars wars war you know it just like seems so completely uncharacteristic of my father my father was a really quiet genteel soft spoken kind hearted man and just the the thought of him doing that, I just, he, and he was like a real, uh, what's the word, um, nonconformist. And I think of that being the kind of thing that you do when you're with your buddies and your buddies are doing it, so you do it too. And I just always pictured my father as somebody who wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have succumbed. He would have just said, no, that's not right. I mean, um, because in our wiring, that is not how you show dignity. That's not how you honor somebody's dignity by taking something from them. It uh, brings tears to me to think about how just how sad I feel like it is that the only reason I have a connection to her was through war. And it makes me feel so sad to think about her loss. Um, I... I I wouldn't describe myself as a Quaker, but I'm and you know I'm nonviolent and I am I'm a peace activist and uh, just it just seems like a profound loss to humanity that that is how we resolve conflicts and I feel sad that that is my connection to her, but I also feel deeply grateful. Deep, deep, deeply grateful for it so if she were in front of me all I would want to do is hug her and just say I'm sorry that this is what brought us together um, yeah 